We are at the hospital. How are you feeling, by the way? Uh, not too good. Oh, Keep it through knives, really stabbing back at any second. <laughs> 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 Good morning everybody and hello. We're with Ryan this morning. We are at the hospital. Are we here? You don't. That's that's good news. Ryan has had a chronically stuffy nose for probably two years now, so we're going to see the ENT, the ear, nose, and throat doctor, to see if we can do something about it. Some good news. Well, we haven't seen the doctor yet, but the good news is what? You weigh how much? 92 pounds. Congratulations. And your height, she said? I'm five feet. Look how tall he is. Look at Look at Look at how look tall, tall he is. <laughs> Congratulations. I mean, there's proof. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. 65 feet. I was like 61 with the shoes. That would be like 60 pounds. That is awesome. Yeah. All right, we're waiting for the doctor to come in. There's, well, she'll probably talk to you a little bit about your ear, nose, and throat. Oh, really? Oh, I thought she was going to talk to me about my feet, toes, and legs. <laughs> no, no, this is not a FTL visit. Oh. Feet, toes, and legs. This is ENT. <laughs> Yes, what is your good news? Uh, I, do, I don't have to get like surgery or anything. Yay! That's good. Uh, just, uh, let me play the doctor okay. real quick. The child, what are they called? Oh, I don't remember what she called them. Something with a T. Doesn't say what they are. the walls of the nose and they're a little big. <laughs> and uh, You do have a little bit of a deviated septum. Yes, deviated septum. Gives me like mucus and stuff. No, she said it doesn't give you mucus. It doesn't. actually just makes it a little bit harder to breathe out of your right harder. side. Exactly. I'm the doctor here, so. Sorry, I'm sorry. Please. <laughs> um, so basically, I just have a stuffy nose. I should take some clonus. <laughs> <laughs> she said you might have some allergies. We're gonna say for allergies. This is the last one. Check. We're good. Uh, we're gonna do an allergy testing to see if I'm like allergies or allergic to anything. Uh, and we're gonna take phonase to try to clear up my nose. Fantastic. That's pretty much it. So. That's good. She did say there's a possibility of a surgical procedure. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not. Okay, okay, okay. Just hold it on. <laughs> Alright, so what do we do after we go to the doctor? Chipotle. Ryan's doctor appointment done and you know she did say that having an air purifier in his room was an integral part of whatever it is that he has he was going to be tested for allergies and um, so I guess we have to go back in I don't know, they're gonna call us for an appointment so in a few but the good news is we do already have an air purifier right here it's the molecule mini and we are very happy with this look at how, how quiet it is it's running, but you can hardly even tell. And it's so beautiful. Molecule has really nice looking air purifiers, even though Ryan's room is an absolute mess. Hi, Edward. Hi, nobody. You like sitting in here too, don't you? So one of the things about Molecule, they sent us this um, air purifier to try it out. We also have a larger one, um, a tall one that stands in Brennan's room. And it's doing well for Brennan as well. So this Molecule is runs on what's called Pico technology, which is photoelectrochemical oxidation, which means that when the molecule sucks in the air, instead of actually taking all the allergens and the pollutants in the air and putting it on a filter that you need to take out and clean, this is Pico technology that, that destroys the allergens. Molecule has been tested by real people like us. <laughs> so we have two now in our in our house and so we have the mini one here in Ryan's room and then we have a larger one in Brennan's room and if you guys want to you can get 10% off your first order of molecule your first air purifier if you go to 
molecule, that's M-O-L-E-K-U-L-E dot com, and enter Donnelly's 10 at checkout. And you can get a, a molecule mini, or you can get the tall standard one, um, and try it out for yourself. So if you have allergies to kitties, or um, dust, or pollen, or mold, or any of that stuff, it's going to help destroy that in the air. So we've been really happy with our molecules. I do highly recommend them. And as an integral part of taking care of my allergies, Brennan's allergies, Ryan's allergies, we're really happy with it. So if you guys want to try it, take a look at the description box below and order your first molecule. All right, now it's off to try to convince him to clean his room because I bet there's some pygmies living in there somewhere. <laughs> well, now I've done it. I took a shower and decided to iron my shirt on the bed. The closest outlet was right there and I didn't feel like putting up the ironing board. So I set the iron on the bed and of course the tension pulled and it did a little flip and it landed right there. Not only did it burn the rug and melt it, it melted it the rug onto my iron. So it looks like now I need a new rug and a new iron. Thank goodness this didn't hurt anybody, but now I definitely need to go shopping. <laughs> Wait till I film Mike. All right, so Brennan called from school and he is not feeling well at all. Since Christmas time, he's had a cold and then it went away for the cruise, which was awesome. We were like, hey, once you get into the, like the Caribbean and the salt air and all that stuff, it's gonna go away and it did. And then it came back when we got back and he's already had a Z-Pack, which if you know what that is, like a really strong antibiotic for five days. And he has an inhaler to try to get all the junk out of his chest, but it, it, the Z-Pack is done and he's still in pain. And he breathes and stuff. So he called from school and I'm gonna go pick him up. I'm gonna leave here about 15 minutes, go pick him up and take him to the doctor. So this is a two doctor day so far. The day's not over. Two doctor day. Could have been a three doctor day with my ironing board or my iron. So thank goodness it's not. Mike also is not feeling like he's really been under the weather, but he refuses to go to the doctor. Are you one of those people you refuse to go to the doctor? I'm like a kind of person where I don't love going to the doctor, but I feel like, you know what, if they can find something and get me better sooner, I'd like to do that. Um, Mike refuses to go to the doctor. What's up? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling, by the way? Uh, not too good. I got in the water to swim yesterday, and I went like, ah, I was like, this isn't going to work out. Yeah. I got to head out. Here we are. <laughs> We're in the pediatric office, and Brendan and I had an interesting conversation the other day. He's 17 now. At what point do you graduate from the pediatrics and the it's, uh, circus? 18. 18? Brennan, we how? came what back from the doctor and I was diagnosed with a pulled muscle <laughs> in my ribs because I was coughing too hard. So that just tells you a little bit about how my past week was. Um, did you know, did we already tell them that, did you guys, did we already tell you that Brennan went to the doctor on Thursday? I think yeah. I did. Does he pack an inhaler because he has bronchitis yeah. and it didn't go away. No. So we went back yeah. because he had pain. Yeah. Come to find out the pain is because he coughed too hard. Yeah. But this is the other thing. She did put you, what else did she give you? She gave me drugs. Like? Ibuprofen. And? That's 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 Antibiotic. Yeah. Because there still is gunk in his chest that should have been gone. Yeah. A long time ago. <clears throat> but it's not gone. It's not gone. Shout out to y'all. Don't be sick. Don't be sick. Yeah. Exactly. Don't yeah. Be. All right. Dad is yelling at me saying, yeah. So I'm yeah. sorry. He's like, yeah. You're not supposed to do that. Yes. Okay. Yeah is dumb. Okay. I do. It's dumb. No. So Brandon's no. not going back to school. Yeah. Oh my gosh, maybe we should send you back to school no. so you can learn how to speak correctly. No. That's not it. All right, I got Katie Wait. That's wait. not that. Hi. She's Snapchatting <laughs> pictures of me again. All right, you guys, we're gonna get our nails and let's see. Soon my tan's gonna go away and I'm gonna have to start faking it. Well, you got that stuff for Christmas. I know. Did you use it yet? Um, not yet. Okay. But I will. How was your day at school? It was good. Katie just had Bella Bella's sad that she can't come. I'm sorry that Bella couldn't come. It's okay. Katie was just telling me that, um, High school drama. Those of you don't trust anyone. <laughs> Seriously, keep your circle small. Be friendly, but keep your circle small. Don't tell people stuff you don't want. Yeah, I think knows. that's a pretty good. I think that's pretty. Don't go blabbing your stuff around. 
right? right? It's a pretty pretty good advice for everybody at any age, whether you're in high school or not. People walking with their knives, really stabbing them back at any second, <laughs> and you can't be having that. <laughs> so keep your circle small. <laughs> advice for the day. Yeah. Adios. Yay! Nails. New nails. Katie's are black. Look at Katie's black nails. Wait, let me try. I kind them. of I love the color black. It's actually my favorite color. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Next to, <laughs> you wear a lot of black. <laughs> Next to like orange and yellow. Yeah. Black. I love orange. Black. Black. It's so weird, like when I'm like wearing all black in school because I have two black backpacks because my track <laughs> backpack is black and so is my school backpack. So I'm just like walking through the halls looking like I'm depressed or something, but I just love black. So. Mm -hmm. All right, so mine are, this color is called Machu Picchu. It is actually very- I can't even tell you have nails. I know, it's very nude, very neutral. I love it, but yours look great. Thank you. I'm happy with mine too. All right, very good, let's go home and I'm gonna draw, we, Pick up Brennan's prescription, drop you off, and I have to go downtown. Is there food at Brennan's pre prescription place? No, it's a drugstore. I mean, it's a pharmacy. <laughs> I'm so hungry. You'll get food in a minute. Hang on there, sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I keep drinking too early. What are you trying to do? Oh. I have a picture. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know how people get the timing so well. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. What are you what are you trying to do? A picture of you in the air? <laughs> All I know is that she was totally like frantically working on her homework and then runs in here and starts jumping on the bed. Well. Trinity said the same good timer picture for TikTok. Oh. Anyway. Did it work? No, but I sent it anyway. Okay, good. Excellent. All right, so Katie and I went and got our nails done today, as you recall, and the deal was, I can read it on my text. Let me read it on my text where it says, Katie says, Mom, can we go get our nails done? Here, let me get my phone. Can me and Belle get our nails did after my practice? <laughs> Who is Belle? Bella, oh right. If your room is clean and your laundry is put away. And she agrees, KK, she says. So it just so happened from a timing perspective that we had to get our nails done before she was able to come home. But now she owes me. And it is 9.51 at night. So Kate, are you going to clean your room? Because we're going to come back in and we're going to look at it all nice and clean. Do you need me to help you? I'm happy to help. I don't want help. Really? You can do it all by your lips? I just don't want to do it. But that was part of the and deal. And that's on period. So that was part of the deal. So I'm going to go say hi to Ryan. And then before you get in the shower, I want your room clean. But, no, I'm getting the shower first. Well, then, but you have to clean your room. Do you understand? Oh, that's awkward. I should probably clean my room first. Yeah. Then, do you want to bring my laundry up for me? If you bring my laundry up for me, that would be a huge. Oh, that would be my a gosh. huge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start yelling. I really am. I know. I understand. I'm just okay. in the middle of. You can turn off the camera. So I have to show you this thing. Okay. I actually do yell. I know you've never heard me yell, but I will. I will yell. Mom, you're heated. You not in here anymore. Ryan, I see your feet under there. I know you're here. What feet? Those are my feet. They're not your feet. Yes, they are. I see those toes right there. Ew. And I'm zoomed in on them. Ryan, Ew, get out. Toes. I am. Ow! Stop! You stop! Squeeze your abs. Squeeze your abs. Ow! Squeeze your abs. Ow! Do you want to have a Squeeze them. No, I just ate muffins. No, <laughs> stop. I can't breathe. You're fine. Ow! It's no, gonna not. be okay. No, I can't breathe. Yes, you can. <laughs> if you can. If you can talk, you can breathe. <laughs> My donkey's loose. <laughs> My what? Oh, get off him! Get off him! Get off him! Katie, get off him! Get oh, off fine. now! Come on! I cracked so bad. <laughs> You have to clean your room too, right now. No, no, Katie, go back to the video. Ryan! <laughs> wow, Katie Elizabeth! Yeah, she did her bed. Only a few things left on the floor, but what'd you say? She did her bed for once. She did. Looking much better, Katie. Did you put all your clothes away? Yeah. Okay, what made you happy today, baby girl? Aww. That was fun with you. I enjoyed my time. We always have fun when we get our nails done. We, we do always have fun.
We have fun doing other things too. We have fun all the time. We do have yeah, fun. Me. All the time. I know. So I'm just gonna I'm slice gonna your head right now. Look at my mom, guys. Look at how cute she is. <laughs> Give us a pose. Stop smile. Wait, what do you do? No, no, no. Uh-uh. Uh no. No, you don't need to get out of my shot. No, 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 you're not. No, you're not. You're yes. Fine. Especially with the Uggs. Mm -hmm. And we got probably old navy jeans because that's what, how that's we do it around here. That's how we do it. This belt, which I'm not sure what that, that's doing, but it's chilling. It looks good. Cute top. Thanks. Hold up. My hair is a mess. With them roots. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Cutie patootie, go off. Really? Guys, it looks better in person. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it shouldn't look that good, actually. I no, you look better, you look better on, in person. Also, oh, I like thanks. your necklace, I have the same one. Thank you. So comment below, you guys happy today. Forever. Oh, what, ask Almost Ryan what made him happy. Okay, you do it, because I'm showering. Oh, Ryan, what made you happy today, babe? Um, Bye, babe. Bye. Looking absolutely stunning. Baby, you don't look happy! <laughs> hey, let's see how tall you are, really quick. Just Wait, do it. Um, do you want to see? No, Okay, all right. I just want to keep those that I said five foot. Out. Just go with that. Go with that. Go with that. Uh, what we have today was chilling. Uh, and the absolute legends at school today. Uh, shout out to Tanner and Will. Okay. And Luke. All right. And uh, Miller. Oh, I love your and friends. Pam, Pam, oh my gosh. Nice. Absolute stud. All right, you want to take us out? Oh wait, let me share what made me happy today. All right. Okay, what made me happy today, what made me happy today was, um, as much as I complain about carpooling or, or chauffeuring, I absolutely love it. When I don't have the yeah. opportunity to do it, when you guys are off and gone, that's gonna make me very sad. So I think that chauffeuring, um, everybody around and getting a lot of stuff done. Like I always felt very productive today. All right, you guys, so thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.